Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki and I channel messages from film and TV shows using tarot and oracle cards. And also sometimes songs or books if spirit is wanting to bring messages through in that way. So thank you again for being here. Today I am actually collaborating with Melchizedek here. And I received this inspired idea to do a chakra series where I will be channeling messages from films that will help bring healing to each chakra. So we are going to begin with the root chakra. And the movie that I kept hearing was the 2006 film Apocalypto directed by Mel Gibson. And this film is all about fear. It's all about ancestral healing. It's about light workers. It is about overcoming difficult karmic patterns and seeing fear for what it is and moving through it despite that. So the synopsis for Apocalypto says, set in the Mayan civilization when a man's idyllic presence is brutally disrupted by a violent invading force. He is taken on a perilous journey to a world ruled by fear and oppression where a harrowing end awaits him. Through a twist of fate and spurred by the power of his love for his woman and his family, he will make a desperate break to return home and to ultimately save his way of life. And the film stars Rudy Youngblood, Raul Max Trulio, and Gerardo Terracina. This film, if you have not seen it, it's amazing. It is also very violent. This film does not shy away from difficult things. So that is something to be mindful of as we move through the reading here. But primarily, these are messages to help heal the root chakra, to help bring healing to the fear and anxiety that the collective is feeling at this time. And I'm just so grateful to Melchizedek for bringing the messages through for me to channel. So let's get started with the reading. But first, before we get 100% started here, there will be spoilers that come through. So if you've not seen Apocalypto, please be mindful of that as we move forward. And also, this is a general message, general reading for the collective. So if you find a message does not resonate for you, that's 100% okay. Don't try to force something that does not fit. Only take what resonates and leave what does not. We have horse spirit. Freedom is yours. Okay, so... With this card, I'm first drawn to the number 33 up here. And this is an Ascended Master number. And Melchizedek is an Ascended Master. So very cool. And what I'm feeling is that the Ascended Masters, Council of Light, and Archangels are working with the Collective right now to help release fear. And that's why this inspired video for the root chakra specifically has come through. There is a lot of anxiety and it's being purged and let go of by many as we speak. And I also feel very strongly that the screenplay for this film, Apocalypto, was channeled from Ascended Masters. Despite the violence in this film, there are many spiritual moments and scenes of divine intervention that take place. 
Melchizedek is now drawing me to the beautiful markings on the horse here, if you can see. There's some colorful tattoos or like makeup or in the middle of the horse's face here. And every person in this movie does have a unique style of their own. They all have different piercings and tattoos on their bodies. So I'm feeling major breakthroughs in the collective with owning one's unique sense of style or fashion and no longer being afraid to express that authenticity. This is the energy of not caring what other people think in terms of how you present yourself in the world. Authenticity is rising up on the planet now. And as we continue to release the fear of what others think, we free ourselves more and more. The card says freedom is yours. <laughs> so if you are listening to this message right now, then you are someone who is breaking through the fears that have held back your lineage for many generations. You are facing your fears with bravery and courage. And your ancestors say thank you and are showering much gratitude and love upon you. Melchizedek is showing me the scene at the beginning of the film where Jaguar Paw, played by Rudy Youngblood, is speaking with his father, Flint Sky, played by Morris Bird Yellowhead. His father is speaking to him about fear. He tells his son that fear is a sickness and that it will crawl into the soul of anyone who engages it. He tells Jaguar Paw that he can see that fear has already tainted his peace and that he did not raise him to live with fear. And this is when Flint Sky tells Jaguar Paw to strike all fear from his heart and to not bring it into their village. And this is what your ancestors are saying to you, to keep striking the fear from your heart as it no longer has a place in your life, nor in your lineage. How do you strike the fear from your heart? By allowing yourself to feel it and move through it, despite the fact that you feel it. We have Fox Spirit, think on your feet. Many of you are experiencing challenges at the moment, and these situations are calling you to think on your feet in a quick manner. There is a purpose to this. It's to show you how capable you are of facing fear and making quick decisions to navigate it. Give yourself more credit because thinking on your feet is a strong gift you possess. In the film, the village where Jaguar Paw and his family live gets invaded by another tribe. Jaguar Paw's father, Flint Sky, gets killed right in front of him. And before he dies, he tells Jaguar Paw, do not be afraid. And he stands like a warrior, knowing that he is about to be killed, but he doesn't give the other tribe the satisfaction of seeing him in fear. He doesn't even flinch. Flint Sky is so grounded that he isn't even afraid of death. But after he dies, the tribe takes Jaguar Paw and other members of his village back to their village because they want to sacrifice them as they believe that will bring more blessings to their village. Melchizedek is actually showing me the scene where they unshackle two of the men and tell them to run. It's a sick game that they like to play. So the men take off running as arrows, rocks, and spearheads start being thrown at them. And neither of the men make it out alive. But then Jaguar Paw is up next, and this is the moment where he has to think on his feet. So instead of running a straight line, 
he starts running in a zigzag fashion as to make it more difficult for the other men to aim accurately. <laughs> And in the face of fear, Jaguar Paw thought on his feet. So whatever situation you find yourself in right now, trust in your ability to make quick decisions. Sometimes you will find that you must act immediately and you are well equipped to handle situations like this because of your warrior spirit. Melchizedek is also showing me the scene where Jaguar Pa gets chased by the tribe after he escapes their arrow game. He climbs into a tree, not knowing that it's the home of a jaguar. <laughs> and he once again has to think on his feet or he will be attacked by the jaguar. He gets out of the tree and the jaguar begins chasing him. But in the process, they run into the group of men already chasing Jaguar Paw, and the Jaguar begins attacking them instead. So if you are experiencing intense anxiety and fear right now, it's time for swift action. Trust in your cleverness and in your ability to co-create circumstances that you do prefer while also thinking on your feet. <laughs> To truly flourish is to release all the tension that holds me back from letting love pour through me. Melchizedek is showing me the scene right before Jaguar Paw takes off running to try to escape the weapons being thrown at him. He sort of goes into this meditative state where he visualizes his pregnant wife, Seven, played by Dahlia Hernandez, and their young son, Turtles Run, played by Carlos Emilio Baez. When the tribe was invading their village, Jaguar Paw took his wife and child and hid them in a hole in the ground in order to protect them. He has the knowledge that they will need him to get out of the hole. And he remembers his wife saying to him, Come back to me. And this is the moment where he lets love pour through him to offset the fear and tension that has a grip on him. Fear and anxiety are no match for love. And Melchizedek is saying to remember your why. Perhaps it's the love you have for the people in your life and the love for your lineage. What is it that you love? Because this love is the answer to breaking through any fear you may have. I'm also hearing to infuse your root chakra with love. And getting grounded is one of the best ways to give your root chakra love. You could also recite root chakra specific affirmations or eat grounding foods. I release ancient pain simply by feeling it. Melchizedek is saying much of the fear and anxiety and pain that are coming up for you right now are from past lives that happened long ago. This is ancient pain that can be released simply by allowing yourself to feel it. And this film epitomizes many of the karmic patterns we are releasing together as a collective. It showcases the fear of illness, death, invasion, war, sacrifice, infertility, and lack of resources. Melchizedek is now specifically showing me the scene when the invading tribe 
take many of Jaguar Paw's tribe back to their village. <clears throat> and on the journey, they encounter a young girl played by Aquatizali Garcia, who has smallpox. And they pull back in fear as they state that she has the sickness. Then they are all astonished as she brings through a powerful oracle message. And it's literally as though an ascended master is speaking through her. She tells them that their ways are vile and that they should be afraid of her because their time is done. And that the man Jaguar will lead them to their end. So I do feel some of you are releasing karma around illness in your lineage that has caused shortened lifespans. I also feel energetically that many of you are having dreams about your family and ancestors and they are showing you specifically what to heal. You may find that you wake up angry or overwhelmed with emotions. And this is not happening to hurt you, okay? It's happening so you can feel the ancient pain that has held your lineage in bondage for generations. So if this is happening, process the pain that is coming up. And Melchizedek also wants you to know how strong you are. He is showing me that some of you feel like you are weak because of how overwhelming the pain and emotions are. This is quite the opposite, however. You have the warrior spirit within you. And facing these fears and difficult emotions that are emerging is a strength. Melchizedek is now drawing me back to the young girl who had smallpox. Some of you have a child in your lineage who came here to break the pattern of illness that has plagued your ancestors. I'm being shown how strong and fierce the Oracle Girl is in the film. And for some of you, this child has already been born. And others, this child will enter the world soon. But they have a mission to break karmic patterns within your lineage. And they will do so with a fierceness, much like the Oracle Girl in this film shows. Holy Amethyst, Divine Alchemy, move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Okay, so with this card, first I'm being drawn to the Amethyst Crystals. So perhaps using this particular Amethyst Crystal at this time would be beneficial for you. And from the film, Melchizedek is showing me Skyflower, played by Azua Larios in the film. So Skyflower and her husband Blunted, played by Jonathan Brewer, have had some trouble getting pregnant. And Blunted receives a lot of ridicule from the other people in their village, along with his mother-in-law, played by Maria Lago. She is angry that he hasn't been able to get her daughter pregnant. So I do feel that some of you have had issues with trying to get pregnant and perhaps have also received some unwanted energy from others, much like the mother-in-law in this film. So if you desire to have a child, focus on the love within yourself that you have for the child. Do not listen to outside influences. And do not internalize any negative comments they may be projecting onto you and your partner. The card says to focus on what you desire and to move beyond current challenges. I also feel the energy of some of you who do not desire to have children. And also how you have received ridicule from others because of this. The message is the same for you. Do not internalize the negative comments from other people. There is nothing wrong with not wanting children, just as there is nothing wrong with you if you have been trying to get pregnant and it hasn't happened yet. Whatever you desire is perfect for you and your personal needs. 
Focus on the love within yourself and trust in divine timing. Freya, phases and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Yes, <laughs> phases and cycles are in fact closing out in the collective right now. And this is making room for new beginnings. Anything inauthentic is being revealed so it can be released. And Melchizedek is showing me the ending of the film. Jaguar Pa is able to make it back to his wife and son and help them out of the hole that they were hiding in. It started to rain and Seven actually gave birth to their child. And Jaguar Pa states that a new beginning has come for them. So as you close out the old phases and cycles, a new beginning is emerging in your reality. For some of you, this is the birth of a child. For others, it's new people and opportunities coming in. Some of these phases and cycles also involve letting go of the ancient pain mentioned in this affirmation card right here. You do not deserve this pain and it's time to let it go. I'm also drawn to the moon on the card here. Releasing energy during full moons is a very powerful practice to have as well for those of you who do so. Truth is also revealed in the dream state on the evenings of full moons. So recording your dreams the morning after a full moon would help bring additional insights. Melchizedek is saying that any ending taking place is paving the way for new beginnings, and it's a time to be very excited. I'm also seeing how protected Jaguar Pa was in this film. Every step of the way, it was like the divine intervened to make sure he was safe. He did get hurt along the way, though. He took an arrow to his side, and he got nicked in the head by a rock that was thrown at him. But he made it out with his wounds all right because he was protected. You too are protected on your journey. Each time I choose to tune into spirit, guidance of the highest truth shows up for me. In the film, the night before his village is invaded, Jaguar Pa and his tribe gather around an elder who tells the story about a being who is consumed by an emptiness that cannot be satisfied, despite having all the gifts of the world offered to him. The being continues to take blindly until there is nothing left in the world for him to take, and then the world is no more. The very same night, Jaguar Pa has a dream about what is to come. So he was receiving prophetic dreams that were warning him. This is a time to pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that spirit is showing you. And if you are feeling fear and anxiety at this time, tune into your inner world. All the answers you need are within you. There is no lack in this universe and there is plenty for everyone and guidance of the highest truth will show up for you when you go within and tune into spirit. And if you've been having prophetic dreams, pay attention even if you were only shown a piece of the information. It will all come together in time. If the dreams are in the form of a warning, don't take these dreams lightly. Heed the warning and prepare what you need to. Also, if you have a tendency to forget your dreams upon waking, meditating right when you wake up can help to recall your dreams. Clarity will come to you 
as you sit with everything you are sensing. Allow your intuition to guide you to the whole truth so you can see clearly. And if anything feels overwhelming, ground yourself and go outside into nature. I'm in awe of the magnificent guidance that's available to me. <laughs> so with this card, Melchizedek is showing me the most powerful scene in the entire film, or at least I think it is. And I love that he is bringing this message through as the last one. See the circular earth on the card here? <laughs> well, in the movie, Jaguar Paw's tribe is taken to another tribe's village to be sacrificed. And Jaguar Paw and his tribe are waiting in a line to be sacrificed. The first two men in front of Jaguar are killed and sacrificed. And a very interesting thing happens when Jaguar Paw is laid across the altar. The sky actually goes dark and the sun gets blacked out. And it looks much like the picture on the card here. Like the sun in the sky looks a lot like this circular earth. <laughs> And this is when the leader of the tribe yells to the crowd of people that God is pleased with the first two sacrifices. And he yells to the skies asking if God is in fact pleased and if so to bring the light back. And at that moment the light returns. <laughs> and Jaguar Pot is taken off the altar and his life is saved. So I feel some of you are wondering where the light at the end of the tunnel is. But Melchizedek is saying that magnificent guidance is available to you anytime you need or ask for it. You don't have to stay in the dark. And the divine doesn't want that for you either. Your angels and guides are on standby and aren't going to let anything bad happen to you. In fact, divine intervention has taken place for you more than you know. And this scene in this movie was an amazing example of what divine intervention looks like. And also a powerful message that the darkness doesn't last forever, as the sun will come out again eventually. Utilize the guidance available to you, as it will help you navigate any fears coming up at this time. Melchizedek out. <laughs> I love how he signs off. Melchizedek out. Wow. Empowering, beautiful messages from the film Apocalypto. Those are all the messages that Melchizedek has for the collective at this time. Thank you so much for being here. Also, thank you so much for your support, for commenting, liking, subscribing to the channel. I appreciate you all so much. I love you all so much. And I will see you on the next video.